babies. So this is going to be a journey to baby walker video. Me and my wife are in the process of trying to have a baby. And the last time that we were in the process of having a baby, you know, I did end up getting pregnant, which is a beautiful moment. But I also ended up having a miscarriage as well. So now we are on the road to trying to do it again. So turn left onto Crested French Drive, today, then turn sorry, right onto I'm Fuzzy Cattail right Street. Now. Sorry. So today I am going to have my blood work done. I have to go turn right onto Fuzzy the Cattail Street. Day of my period, the first or the second day of my period. So today is in 1000 feet, day. turn right onto Cone okay, Grove so Road. I'm on my way to go to LabCorp so that I can get my blood work done. The only thing is, is that I am deathly afraid of getting my blood drawn. So, like, I'm okay right this second, but I feel like that I am. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the road same time. Turn right onto Cone I Grove like Road, like then turn right onto Fern Hill Drive. Anxiety, like, especially like not having anybody there with me, I think that's going to be, you know, like really tough for me. So my wife is off work today. Well, she's she's working from home today because she's sick. Turn right onto Fern Hill Drive. So you know, she asked if I wanted her to come, but I told her no that it was okay for her to stay home. So continue on Fern Hill Drive for three quarters of a mile. Get it done. I am very nervous. I also have to go and do the HSG procedure as well. So I am going to go and do that. Today is Tuesday. The today's day, January 22nd. So next week, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, I'm sorry, they have a construction over here. So next week, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I will go and have the HSG test done. HSG test, yeah, I said it right. Okay, so, yeah, so HSG test, I will go and I will have that done either Tuesday or Wednesday. I am also very afraid to get that done for that one. My wife will go with me there. In a quarter mile, I turn am, right onto Gibsonton Drive. I am very worried because I did see, you know, like a few videos of, you know, like people saying that it hurts. Turn um, right onto Gibson to drive. My best friend who went through the same thing. And she also told me that it hurts too. So I am pretty freaking nervous about it. Continue on Gibsonton Drive for three miles. It, that it goes by fast and that, you know, they tell me that everything is okay and that, you know, that I am able to get pregnant so that there is the ultimate goal is, you know, trying to get pregnant. Sorry that I am not all dogged up today or anything like that. Like, I'm just like a complete nervous wreck right now. Like, you guys may, may think that I'm crazy. Just be like, oh my God, you're just getting your blood work done. But I just, woo, I do not like needles whatsoever, honey. So, I'm gonna try to be a big girl about it and not be too much of a cry baby because I am going to record so that you guys can see the whole process. So I am going to try to mentally get myself together for it to be done so that I doesn't, so that I don't look like such a freaking wimp when I get there. So, I am about maybe like 10 minutes away, so. As soon as I get there, then I will come back and I will vlog some more for you guys to see so that you guys can, you know, go with me throughout this process because I think that, you know, it'll be, you know, like a good learning experience, not only for me, like I already have a daughter that's 13, but obviously I'm doing this over again. So, but yeah, so it'll be a learning experience for anybody else that is, you know, gonna go through the same thing that I'm going to go through and then, you know, Hopefully, you know, like it'd be really, really easy for me and, you know, whoever else tries it, it'd be easy for them as well. I'm just hoping that, you know, that I get pregnant, you know, no one likes to see, you know, negatives, you know, you want to wonder, you know, why is your body working against you? And, you know, like what is exactly going on to where I can't, you know, get pregnant or I can't hold on to this pregnancy or my baby or something like that. So, <sighs> I am nervous, 
so once i get there i will continue to vlog and um hopefully you guys learned some things today and you know hopefully i will too so if you would like to see the rest of this video then don't go anywhere just stay tuned i will literally be like right back in a flash wow i am in here and i am waiting to get my blood drawn I'm really nervous. I do not like getting my blood drawn at all. And I can't talk loud because we're like inside of like, you know, like an office. So, so we didn't have any more available appointments, so I had to do a walk in because it's the only day that I could come. So. Now it's just like a process of just waiting until I get called right there to get my blood drawn. So once I get back there, then I will vlog somewhere. Okay, so I'm just leaving and I couldn't even like record getting my blood drawn because I was so freaking deathly afraid that it was gonna hurt that I was like pretty much like losing my dang on mind almost. And the the lady who did it she was so sweet her name was katrina you know she did it really really fast and it was literally like the smallest little sting ever and you know normally you know what i'm saying you hear like oh it's gonna be a little pinch you know it's not gonna hurt or whatever and she didn't say any of that like she literally was just like you know tied a thing around my arm and she me bought my fist up and you know like she did it and it literally went by within like you know a matter of seconds like it didn't last long at all and you know she was just asking me like why well, i was scared and i just she asked me if i ever had bad experience and i told her yes at the hospital you know they were trying to excuse me they were trying to like draw my blood or from my veins or whatever and blew my veins and that ugh, hurt so i have had like the worst 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 luck so ever since then i have just been like completely scared and nervous about getting my blood drawn but she did really good and you know it went by really fast so everything is done with that so now i just have to make a doctor's appointment once i get home so that next week that i can go and have my um hsg test done so once that's done um well with, you know with the labs you know you have to wait for a while to be able to get the results back to know what's going on but with the hsg test they said that i will be able to know as soon as the test is over if my tubes have any type of scarring or anything like that so i am very happy that this part here is done and you know moving on to the next part i'm sure that i will be equally if not more nervous than i was today so i am just hoping that everything come back okay with my lab work so i will try to keep you guys as posted as i possibly can so like i said you know as of right now you know me and my wife you know this is a trying to conceive video because we want to be able to you know have a baby essentially so we have tried a few times and like i said only one time worked but we did you know end up losing our you know our precious baby unfortunately but um so you know this time you know we're hoping for a healthy pregnancy you know a full term pregnancy a healthy baby so this time you know we're doing things a little different because normally you know we did the insemination at home so this time we are going to try to have the doctors to do it for us so this is why i'm getting the blood work done and well they said that i needed to have the hsg test done so i need to be able to get that done and um and there was like you know if everything goes good with that that i should be able to get pregnant by my next period so like i said today is january 22nd so hopefully by february you know that i am able to you know like get pregnant then so i'm gonna talk to them once i get the hsg test done about trying to get back on clomad again so like you know it can like boost my chances see about taking you know, the trigger shot and all those kind of things just you know like certain things to try to boost my chances on getting pregnant so 
and um, you guys will be able to keep up with everything that we're doing with our trying to conceive video because like I said this is very important not only to me but to her as well and I know that it's going you know that it's thousands and actually millions you know like of women and couples that are trying to go through the same thing so hopefully through my experience I will be able to you know help somebody else and you know because I've watched other people you know experiences on YouTube as well as my best friend tell his experience as well and she has all of her stuff you know on her channel too with her and her wife Jay so I will have her channel linked down below too like if you guys want to be able to see the journey that she went through and then she had my beautiful niece and nephew so hopefully you know I have my you know I have my own happy ending as well so you guys just stay tuned like I said the next thing that will come up is you know I will take you guys with me when I get ready to go and get the HSG test done so if you guys got any suggestions or you know anything that you would like for me to know you know when it comes to this process then please feel free to you know email me or you know write your comments down below or something like that because you know any advice is good advice so until next time babies like comment and subscribe